Namaste my beautiful yogi friends. Welcome back to the Yoga Candy YouTube channel. My name is Candice and today I have a really lovely relaxing flow to help us just release the shoulders and the neck and the lower spine. Um, I don't know about you but lately I've been feeling a little achy in all those places. It can be down to so many different things. Stress, having a new pillow, having a new bed, whatever it is. This is really going to help us ease the body into some nice relaxation. It's just going to be a really simple and easy flow. So follow along with me. Remember to do what you can. And if there's anything that just doesn't feel right for your body, feel free to ease out of it or take a much easier pose or even sit it out in a nice child's pose or sit and meditate. Just listen to your own body and let me be your guide. Okay, everybody, let's start off in a nice, comfortable cross-legged seat. And all you're going to need today, prop-wise, if you would like them, is a couple of yoga blocks um, or you can have a couple of stacked books you don't have to have the blocks um, and maybe even a yoga strap or a rolled up towel something like that but these things are completely optional you don't have to have them right let's sit in a comfortable seat and this is where a prop could already come in handy for those of you with really tight hips you may want to prop your hips up onto a pillow or onto a block and this is just going to help you be able to come into a cross-legged position a little easier all right let's already sit up nice and tall through the spine closing the eyes hands on the knees shoulders back and down Let's start off by tuning into the inner body before we even begin to flow. Breathe completely naturally in and out of the nostrils for a moment. Start to tune in and think about where are your areas of tightness today? How is the body feeling? Are you a little sore? Are you a little achy? Are you a little tired? That's okay, you've showed up and you're giving yourself and me this time today. So I thank you for that. When you're ready, let's start to deepen our inhale, sending that breath all the way into the lower belly ever so slightly expanding it and then on every exhale start to contract the belly releasing all of that air and drawing the pelvic floor up towards the abdomen so you're lifting up through the pelvic floor on every exhale every inhale you release and allow everything to relax so inhale, release, exhale, contract, inhale, release, exhale, contract. Continue like that for five more deep breaths. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, release it out the mouth. With the eyes closed, send your left ear over to the left side, allowing the head to drop, stretching out the right side of the neck. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale start to roll the head forward to the center of the chest, give in to gravity 
and then inhale over to the right side. Keep repeating this, rolling the neck nice and slowly to the centre, from shoulder to shoulder, just feeling out. If you feel any areas of a lot of tension or a really good spot, then maybe stay there for a few breaths and just enjoy the sensations and enjoy the opening. Take your time and be very gentle. Keep those shoulder blades away from the ears. And stay nice and long and tall through the spine. Let's roll one more time. And then inhale, come back up to the center, keeping the eyes closed. Let's inhale our hands to the sky three times. Inhaling up, allowing the face to follow the hands. Exhaling back to your heart center. Two more, inhale, hands to the sky, look up, exhale, drop the head, hands to the heart center. One more, inhale, the hands to the sky, exhale, drop the hands to the heart, bow your head to your palms and thank yourself for showing up today and I thank you for giving me your time. Namaste everybody, you can open your eyes, let's begin. If you're in a cross-legged position, just, just change the position of the legs, put the other foot on top this time. Make sure that both your sit bones are on the ground or on your prop if you've got them elevated. Let's take our left arm over to the left side of the mat, inhaling the right arm up to the sky. You can stay up on the hand like this, or if you wanna go a little deeper into the side stretch, Start to come down onto your forearm, but remember to stay where it feels good for your body, so don't follow along with me if this doesn't feel right. Open up through the side body. If your arm is about halfway and it already feels quite tough, then just stay there, or allow that hand to start to open up. Now take the hand behind the head and just hold very gently behind the head, so that you're kind of supporting the head a little bit. Open the heart slightly towards the sky. Look up, pointing the gaze up to the sky, opening up through that shoulder and through the side body. Let's hold this for three deep breaths. Now inhale, open up through the arm and look down. Give it an extra stretch here. Exhale, come back up onto the fingers or onto the palm if you were originally on your elbow. Now we're gonna exhale, holding behind the head, looking up, inhaling. Exhale, draw that elbow down towards the left knee. Inhale, open up, look up to the sky. Exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Arching the spine, pulling the body down towards that knee. Inhale, look up to the sky, open up through the shoulders. Exhale, come on down, elbow to knee. Suck in that lower abdomen on the exhale. Inhale to the sky, exhale, elbow to knee. One more time, inhale up to the sky, back to center and release. Give the body a little wave. And we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Be very gentle with yourselves today, guys. Especially if you're feeling a little painful in the neck and everything, make sure you're really listening to your bodies. 
So cross the feet the opposite way again and let's take this right arm over to the mat. Remember you can just stay here inhaling that arm up to the sky. The most important thing is to try to keep the shoulder blades away from the ears. Don't allow them to come up. If you want to come all the way down to the forearm, if that's a little better for your body then do that look up to the sky. And let's place that hand behind the head looking up opening up through the side body, sending the chest towards the sky. Let's take three deep breaths here. Now release looking down this time and have an extra stretch extending that left arm even further across the body. On your next exhale start to come up onto your palm if you were all the way down. And now let's take the hand behind the head inhaling looking up opening up through the shoulder blades sending your gaze up to the sky. Exhale Arch the spine, send that elbow to your knee, to your right knee. Inhale, look up, open up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, look up. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more. Inhale, look up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Come on up, give everything a little shake. And now we're going to just become a bit of a coffee grinder, guys. So, hands to the knees in a nice cross legged position. You can always swap the legs again if you would like to. And we're going to inhale, come on forward. Exhale back, arching the spine, pushing the shoulder blades apart and inhaling forward, we open up through the shoulders. Exhaling back, we push the shoulder blades apart, inhaling forwards, open the shoulders. Exhale back, push them apart and arch the spine. Take a couple more rolls in your own time, exhaling as you come on back. Inhaling forward. Let's go in the opposite direction. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. One more time, inhale forward, exhale back. Wonderful, let's come over onto our hands and knees now. Release those legs, maybe even just extend one out behind you and just pulse through that foot, sending the heel back. Then bring it back to the center and now extend through the, the left side just pushing that back as well, giving that heel and that calf a little stretch after sitting in, in a cross-legged position for that amount of time. This can feel really good. And now let's come back into our tabletop. Knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulder blades. And we're going to do our lovely cat cow. So inhale, drop the belly, look up, open through the shoulders. Exhale, arch the spine, push the shoulder blades apart. Do this in your own time, inhaling as you drop the belly and look up. Exhaling as you arch the spine. Take your time, let's do three in our own time.
take one more. Now send your bum all the way down to your heels. We're going to have a little stretch of the hands now. Rotate your hands away from the mid midsection. So you're rotating them out to the sides. Lean forward, place your palms onto the ground and let's start to send the hips back, just stretching out the front or should I say the back of the hands here. Play around with bringing the hands closer to the body or further away, just wherever it feels more comfortable for you and wherever it is that you're starting to feel a stretch down the back of the hands the back of the forearms. Keep the spine nice and long, suck in your abdomen, close your eyes and let's take three really deep breaths in and out of the nostrils. arch the spine and ever so slightly roll those hands off of the mat, give them a little shake out. We're going to come back onto our hands and knees, but now take your hands, untuck the toes or, or tuck the toes, whichever feels more comfortable. We're going to take our hands wider than the mat, so wider than shoulder distance apart. What we want is when we dip down for our elbows to be in, in, in line with our wrists. So we're going to first of all send our right shoulder towards the ground, looking over towards the left. So start to drop, taking that right shoulder towards the ground, looking to the left. This is stretching out the front of our right shoulder blade here. You should be able to feel that. Take three deep breaths here. If you need to just drop the head and send it to the mat, then do that if your neck's feeling a little tired. Try to keep the elbows in line with the wrists. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, come on up. Sending the left shoulder down towards the ground and your gaze over towards the right. Feel free to take your ear all the way down to the ground or just hang there and allow gravity to do the work. Three deep breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, push yourself up and walk your hands back behind towards the legs. Now tuck the toes spread the toes nice and wide onto the mat. So we're doing a little bit of yoga for the feet now. Mm. Give everything a little shake out and maybe even bring your feet together if that's a little more comfortable. If you find this too uncomfortable then feel free just to tuck the feet. You don't have to stay like this. Let's take our arms out to the sides so really engage through the palms, through the hands, sending the fingertips up towards the sky. Inhale, lifting the hands and really stretching the arms. So you're trying to just imagine you're being tugged from one side to the other. Imagine someone's playing tug of war with your arms. So they're pulling the right and they're pulling the left and it's really extending the arms out to the sides, but your fingertips are facing up towards the ceiling. Now the higher you, when you get to a point where you feel resistance and you can feel actually a stretch in all those nerve endings down the arm, you'll be able to even feel a little stretch in your elbows, especially if you're a bit like me and you're using your phone a lot for work and you're using your computer a lot. This can feel amazing. Let's just stay here for a moment and breathe here. Now just release that down, give the arms a little shake and we're going to do the same thing but we're going to actually tilt our head over to the side to make it a little more intense. So 
Instead of doing both hands, let's leave the right hand extended along the body, or you can even just place it on the knee. And we're going to lift the left hand, really extending those fingers. Imagine you're being pulled, the arms being pulled, but your body is staying as it is. Now start to tilt the head towards the right shoulder, looking up towards the ceiling. Keep the shoulder blades down and you should really feel that stretch maybe even in the top of the shoulder blade and all the way down the arm, down the forearm, even through the elbow and into the fingertips. Breathe here, take two more deep breaths. Now send the fingertips down towards the ground, really engaging, and then try to send the fingertips towards the body. Now look down, keeping the head towards the right side. So you're curling your fingertips, pointing them towards the body. Maybe even create a fist and try to bring that fist as close towards the body as possible. Keeping the arm nice and long and then release. Give the shoulders a little roll. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna face you guys so you can see this from a different angle as well. Now untuck the toes, because we've been on top on the, on the toes for a while now. Give them a little slap against the ground. And now sit back onto the heels with the toes untucked this time. Just allow this left hand to rest on the top of the leg. And we're gonna take our right arm out to the side of us, keeping the arm as straight as possible, shoulders back and down. Start to lift up through the hand, really extending those fingertips. And when you feel that point of resistance and you can feel a little stretch of those nerve endings and those tendons in the arm, then stop there. Now take the head over to the left side and then rotate and look up towards the sky. For me, this is quite intense perhaps because I'm always using phones and computers, but um, I'd love to know how it's feeling for you guys, so let me know in the comments at the end how this made you feel. Take two nice deep breaths here. Now keep the neck where it is. We're going to Tilt the hand down towards the ground. So the fingertips are towards the ground. This hand is actually more intense for me. And just tilt the head so that it's looking down towards the ground, but it's still looking over towards the left. And bring those fingers towards the body. Wow, my right side is tight. Let me know how you guys are finding this. If you want to, you can also create that fist and try to draw that fist towards the body, keeping the arm nice and long. Take one deep inhale. And exhale, let's release. Such a simple movement, but I find that really intense. <laughs> now give those hands a little shake out and let's come back onto our hands and knees. Now we're gonna take it up into downward facing dog. So place your hands nice and flat against the mat. Send that tailbone up towards the sky and don't you worry, if you can't get those heels to touch the ground, then that's okay. That's, you, just, you just need to start building that flexibility of the hamstring. So don't worry if your heels are up here. And even if you need to keep those knees bent, then that's fine. Keep the knees bent. If this is, if this is what your down dog looks like, that's okay. Just accept that. The most important thing in down dog is to suck in that lower belly, send the tailbone up towards the sky, open up through the shoulder blades so you're trying to get your armpits to look at each other. Now I know that's physically not very possible but <laughs> that's the kind of movement you want to be feeling going on. Allow the neck to hang really heavy here guys. Don't, don't strain it. Look between the legs. Let's take two more deep breaths here in our downward facing dog. Lift up through the kneecaps if you have your legs straight.
Now let's drop the elbows down towards the ground, keeping them about shoulder distance apart, spreading the fingertips. Allow the head to hang heavy. This is dolphin pose. Now the closer you walk your feet towards your elbows, the harder this is going to be. It can be quite intense, so just feel free to stand downward facing dog if this is really not accessible to you. If you want to make it more intense, then walk a little forward, sending that tailbone up towards the sky, pushing the shoulders away from each other. Take one more deep breath. Walk your feet back if you had walked them forward. Come back into your downward facing dog. And together, let's all take a really slow walk to the front of the mat, so slow, just taking one heel in front of, the fr in front of each big toe. See if you can keep your legs straight. If you can't, then bend them. And then come to your forward fold. Depending on your flexibility, you may want to bend your knees. The most important thing is sending that tailbone to the sky, sucking in that lower abdomen and just allowing the neck to hang heavy. Hang really, really heavy here, guys. Give in to gravity. Spread the toes. Keep the big toes together with a little gap between the heels. Maybe you want to play around with extending one leg and bending the other, and then bending the opposite one, straightening the other. Play around. Feel through the body. How is it feeling? Bend and straighten if this is feeling good. And then when you come to a position that feels good for your body, whether that be with bent legs or straight legs, grab onto each elbow and hang really heavy here. Allow everything to give into the gravity. Suck in that lower belly. Holding onto the elbows. Being still if this is what feels good for the body today or even sway from side to side. Find your movement, find your momentum. Take one more deep inhale and exhale here. Now release your elbows, but stay in your forward fold wherever you are, even with the knees bent. And we're going to place our hands either side of the low end of the of the um, skull. So you're clasping just behind the base of the skull, and you're allowing everything to hang heavy. So you're placing a very light weight against the head. So you're just adding a little resistance to the back neck stretch here. Don't force anything, allow gravity to do all of the work here. Take two more deep breaths. And then release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Pull yourself a little closer towards the legs. See if you can straighten them a little more if you had them bent. Now we're going to place our hands onto the mat and we're going to step just the left leg behind us. Step it behind and let's drop down onto that knee. We're going to stretch out our psoas muscle here on the left side. So staying up on the fingertips, this is where your props can come in handy. If you're very inflexible at the back of the leg here, um, then feel free to bring this, this heel a little closer to, to the knee at the back. And that's going to make this a little more accessible. And you've got two options. You can stay up onto your knee if that's a little more um, comfortable for you. Make sure that you can feel the stretch here in the, in the psoas muscle and the front of the quad. Or you can use your prop and place your one elbow onto the front knee and the other hand onto your prop. So be where you are today, but wherever you are, extend that back leg, bend through the front leg, try to keep the knee above the, above the heel, 
and let's just become heavy to gravity. Allow gravity to do all of the work here, sinking the hips lower and lower. Take your nice deep breath, sucking in the lower abdomen. Exhale, let's send our hips back behind us. We're coming into half split pose. Again, feel free to come up onto your blocks if you need to. Extend that foot so you're really pointing the toes. Try to keep the knee nice and straight, um, lifting up through the knee and try to keep the leg nice and straight. If you can't straighten it, give it a little micro bend and there's no problem, no worries with that. Just make sure that you're keeping your spine nice and long for a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, arch the spine now and bring your head towards your knee. You'll start to feel a stretch at the back here of the glute on the right side and maybe even a bit down the spine. Now inhale, straighten. Exhale, fold, arch the spine, head to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale down, arch the spine, head to knee, only if this is possible. Inhale, straighten the spine. And release that leg. Come up onto your hands, step back into your plank. Exhale, let's come on down for chaturanga, all the way down to the belly. Inhale for a baby cobra, using the back muscles to pull you into the back bend. Exhale, let's send our hips up and back to our downward facing dog. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So this time, let's just step this left leg forward between the palms and we're going to drop the back, the back knee down. Coming back in for our psoas stretch, but now on the right side. Remember to use your props or come up onto the knee. And remember the closer that back knee is to the front heel, the easier the stretch is gonna be for your body. Just wherever you are, give into gravity. Allow your body to sink deeper with each breath. Keep your breaths nice and deep in and out of your nostrils. On your next exhale, let's send our hips back for a half split pose. And remember, you can always use your props. You can come up onto them if you just can't come forward enough and just, just stay here for the whole duration of this pose. But if you can get lower, then stay nice and long through the spine. Take a nice deep inhale here. On an exhale, let's drop the head, arch the spine and bring the head towards the knee. Inhale, straight in the spine. Look straight down. Exhale, fold the body. Arch the spine, bring the head to the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, arching the spine, head to knee. Inhale, straighten. Now start to bend through that front leg, placing the palms down. Let's step back into plank once again. Stay nice and strong in your plank. If you need to drop your knees, do that and take the easier version. Now you can either come all the way to the belly and do your nice easy um, back bend, or you can come down for chaturanga and take an upward facing dog. Exhale into your downward facing dog. And this is going to be our last down dog of the day, guys. We're just going to take it really, really easy today. 
Now drop to the knees. Let's take a wide-legged child's pose. Take your knees wider than the mat. Extend your arms out in front of you and start to push your bum down towards your heels, keeping your toes together. Relax the head onto the ground and extend the arms out in front of you. Just breathing here. For those of you that find that enough of a stretch, please just stay here in your wide-legged forward fold. Um, or we're gonna come into, for a little bit of a deeper hip opener, we're gonna come down for frog pose. Now only do this if it's accessible to your body. Don't even attempt it if you think it's just gonna be too much. So stay in your wide-legged child's pose. What we wanna do is come up onto the hips, start to allow the knees to open out and what you want is for your knees to be in line with each other and for your, your heels to be in line with your knees. Now point the feet but flex the toes. So you're pointing the feet but the toes are pointing up so that you're keeping your knees nice and safe. Stay up on the forearms. Allow the hips to sink down towards the ground. This, is, this can be a pretty intense stretch, guys. So really, really listen to yourselves here. If this is too painful, just start to ease out of it and go back into your wide-legged child's pose and just enjoy the breathing in that pose. Wherever you are, let's take five more deep breaths. If you're in frog and you wanna come a little low and you just wanna rest your forehead onto your hands, then do that, be wherever you are or stay up on the forearms. Two more deep breaths. Wherever you are, come up onto your forearms and start to ease out of the pose. If you're in a wide-legged child's pose, just bring your knees together. If you're in frog, lift up through the hips and bring your knees together, sitting back. We're going to do our last pose of the day to open up our shoulders and to open up our hips as well. So come on down. We're gonna, I'm going to show you two different versions. You're welcome to prop your hips up onto a prop, which will make this a little more accessible as well. So you can sit up on a block or something like that. Let's take our right leg underneath the left, bringing that heel towards the left hip. And then let's take the left leg over the top of the right. What we're going to be doing is Gomokasana. So those of you that know Gomokasana or cow face pose, feel free to go straight into it and just sit and enjoy. But otherwise, I'm going to explain. This is the easier version. Stay with your legs completely like this. And then we're going to bend the right arm and we're going to stretch down through our right tricep holding on with the left hand so that you can get a little deeper into that stretch. This is the beginner version, just completely stay here. This is fine, be here. If you wanna take it a step further, beginners, you can use your prop, your, um, your strap or your belt, whatever it is you may have, and bend that elbow, holding on to your strop, your strop, your, don't have a strop, <laughs> onto your um, prop. I'm gonna just turn so you can see behind me. And then we're going to bend through the left arm as well and hold on to that prop so that you're pulling the arms together. Now you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're stretching out the front of this left shoulder blade and you're stretching the back of the tricep on the right side. The full expression of the, vo the, the pose for the arms is to completely interlace your fingers and sit up nice and tall like that. 
Okay, but don't do that if it's not accessible. If it is, then great, go straight into that. Now the full expression of the pose for the legs, you can stay like this, this is a bit easier. Or you can rock your hips forward, bring your knees to meet each other, and sit back between the heels. Now I actually have very um, tight hips in Gomokasana, so my knees almost never touch each other. The, with, with time, maybe they will. I'm not sure mine ever will. So don't worry if your knees are not touching. If they are, then well, you have great open, open hips. And then let's do whichever version you want with the arms, either just like that or with your strap or all the way, just interlacing your fingers behind you. Sit up nice and tall wherever you are in the pose. Let's close our eyes and let's take three deep breaths. On your next exhale, let's release the arms very slowly and take a little twist, taking this right arm to the left leg, looking back behind us towards the left shoulder blade, twisting everything out. Enjoy a few breaths here. And release. Let's very gently lift that top leg off of the bottom leg. Give it a little squeeze in towards the body because that can be quite intense. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. Remember to take whichever version feels good for your body. So now we're taking the left heel towards the right hip. That should be the one that's underneath. The right leg over the left. Staying in the easy version, whichever feels best. Or coming forward, bringing your knees together sitting back between the heels. Make sure that both sit bones are on the ground. This time we're going to be opening through the back of the tricep here on the left side. So bend that left arm, stay in the easy version of the pose. You can use your prop or you can interlace your fingers behind your body. Keep breathing nice and deeply in and out of the nostrils here being completely mindful of the sensations in the body. Take three more deep breaths. exhale very slowly release the arms wherever they were give the shoulders a little roll and we're going to take our twist here taking our left hand to the right knee looking back and over the right shoulder taking the twist as deep as you would like to and release. Very slowly lift that top leg over the bottom. Take your time. And we're going to give that knee a little squeeze into the body. Ah, I hope that feels good guys. I hope this all feels like a really good old stretch. <laughs> now let's extend our legs out in front of us. Depending on your flexibility we're going to end with a little bit of um, uh, hamstring love. So this is where your strap can come in handy and so can your block. So depending on your flexibility, you can take your strap to your heels and hold on 
sitting up nice and tall, really engaging, lifting up through the knees, keeping your legs as straight as possible and sending the feet, the feet up towards the sky. So you're engaging the feet here, you're engaging everything a lot. Suck in that lower belly and start to lean forward. If this is enough, just stay here. Just try not to let your shoulders come up towards your ears. Instead, keep them back and down. Now, for those of you that are quite flexible in your hammies, then you can just start to lean forward, holding onto your feet, just finding where it feels good. And when you're ready, you can allow your head to hang nice and heavy. And just be here. If you want to go even further, for those of you who are really flexible, then you can use your block, place it between your hands and lean forward, taking that block on the other side of your feet, getting you even deeper into the stretch. Now, I'm totally aware this this video is more beginner, so I totally understand that this may not be accessible to a lot of you, but it's a great variation that maybe one day you can take. So I'm going to do this because my hammies are feeling quite stretched out today. So allow everything to hang heavy wherever you are. If you're sitting up nice and tall with your strap around your feet, then stay there, closing the eyes. Let's take three deep breaths. Come on up nice and slowly. If you've got a block but behind your feet, let's remove that out the way. And slowly come on up. Let's do a little counteraction of that pose by placing our elbows down towards the ground, straighten out through the legs, really point the feet, really intentionally point them. Take your hands to about just below where your bum would be and staying up on the elbows, lifting up through the chest. We're gonna do a little, a nice little arch in our spines now. So we're sending the chest up towards the sky, opening up through the shoulder blades. Allow the head to hang back. Just take two deep breaths here. Inhale, come on up. Everything must come up before the neck. And release, bringing these shoulder blades back. Give your neck a little roll here. And then come on down, all the way down to the spine. We're coming in for our final resting pose. I'm sure this is music to your ears. <sighs> Take a little sigh if you need to. Have your feet wider than hip distance apart with your feet just falling open to the sides. Hands facing up towards the ceiling. Shoulder blades tucked under the body. Face up towards the sky and let's close our eyes here. Come into your natural breath. Allow everything to be completely natural and relaxed feeling the weight of the body against the ground, feeling everything release. How does it feel? Feel that rise and fall of your chest as you breathe in and out. We're going to take a moment of complete silence. If any thoughts start coming into your head, just allow them to pass. Pay them no attention. And remember to just relax.
you're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you like. But for those of you that want to continue and end your practice with me, very slowly start to wiggle the fingertips and the toes. Taking your time to wake up the body. And start to rotate the, the feet and then the hands. And then inhale the hands up above the head, stretching out the whole body as if you've just woken up in the morning. Mm. Now slowly, with the eyes closed, roll over onto the side body. Take a nice deep inhale here. On your next exhale, lift yourself up into a comfortable seat with your eyes closed. Cross your legs or whatever you would like to do. Sit up tall through the spine with your hands on your legs. Roll your shoulders back and down. Taking a moment just to become aware of your surroundings and of the sensations in your body. And then inhale the hands to the sky, touch them above the head. Exhale the palms to your heart center, still with the eyes closed, bow your head. I'd like to thank you all for showing up and for giving me your time today and for looking after your body. You can open the eyes. Namaste, everyone. I really hope this flow has relaxed you, made you feel all stretched out. It's perfect for anybody who's sitting at a desk for hours on end, so feel free to share this with any of your desk working mates because I know that the shoulders tighten up, our hands tighten up and our legs tighten up and just the body starts to feel a little used and a little like it's not getting the love it deserves. So I know so many people can benefit from yoga and from a practice like this. And guys, feel free to find me on all my social media platforms. You can find me on Facebook and on Instagram. Just look up Yoga Candy and you'll find me. Um, also look at yogacandy.com because on there I've got a newsletter you can sign up for and every week I send a little love note all to do with yoga and nutrition and all sorts of different things and sometimes just things that have motivated me and hopefully will motivate you too. Um, whether it be just things to do with general life, spirit spirituality, whatever it is. And I would absolutely love requests from you guys. So please leave me a little, a little note in the comments and let me know what, what video would you like to see from me next? What would you like me to focus on? And also just let me know how did this video make you feel? Did this flow help your body? Was there anything I can improve on? Or was there anything that you think you would like to start to improving on? And give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Um, and remember to subscribe and share this with your friends because free yoga, wow, I mean, what could be better? Anyway, guys, without further ado, thank you so much for being here with me. I love you all. Until next time, namaste.